Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking this video, I hope you'll stay a while. In today's video I'm going to be showing you all of my, well not all, my top five, top five favorite um, drugstore foundations at this current moment in time. And most of these foundations haven't changed, most of them are what's been my favorite for the last few years. So, you know, they're my tried and true, my ride or die. And yeah, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of those favorites and hopefully you learn something, maybe you try a new foundation out. Yeah, so let's get started. I wanna start by telling you guys my skin type. Most of my face is normal, like the perimeter of my face is normal and then my nose is just really oily. It gets really oily by the end, by the end of the day. That's the only part of my skin that isn't normal. So my T-zone is like, the, like my forehead and my chin are normal, my nose, super oily. Everything around here is oily. I'm sorry, everything around here is normal. My nose is oily as fuck. So that's my skin type. That I feel like that'll better assist you in knowing if any of these foundations would work for you. So yeah, but let's get started. Let me start with my number five. My number five favorite foundation of all time drugstore wise is the L'Oreal Infallible Pearl Glow. Um, I love this foundation for fall and spring fall and winter when this air gets dry and I can't be wearing super mattifying foundations because it just like is dry and it's like uh. um that's when I use this because it just keeps moisture in my skin because my skin is normal I just really like to have a matte um face and this really just helps keep me not super matte it just it has a nice glow and it gives me nice hydration versus my super matte of my super mattifying foundations it does come with spf 15 so maybe you don't wear this at night i've never worn this i don't know if i've ever i've never taken a flash photo with this on or if i have it didn't look bad because i don't have any bad memories of taking flash photography with this foundation but it's pretty great and I think it works, it'll, it'll be great for dry skin as well. When I wear this, I just make sure to set my nose very, very well so that it stays as matte as possible. And yeah, if you see any of my makeup videos, you know I set, I literally bake my nose. So I do that with almost every foundation. So that's what I do with that one to make it a little bit more wearable for my skin type. So my next favorite foundation, number four, is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I love this foundation because it gives you a ton of coverage. It has like a very skin-like finish. It's not dewy. It's not overly dewy. It's not overly dry. I rarely, very rarely wear this on its own. I usually mix it with other foundations. If a foundation has not a lot of coverage, I'll put this in there to give it coverage. If the color is wrong, I'll put either this one to like warm it up or this one to deepen it up. It's like, it's my mixing medium almost. Like I rarely ever wear this on its own, but it's great on its own and it's great for mixing. And I also use this to actually conceal because it's like probably one of the only concealers that I have that is my actual skin tone. I do need to start getting concealers on my skin tone to like actually spot conceal. But for now, this is what I use and it's like my favorite. It's really good. Next drugstore foundation is number three and it is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. You probably saw this coming, this is like a cult favorite everyone loves this foundation and i love it too it's amazing um i have here the colors 355 and 360 coconut and mocha and i'm actually 356 warm coconut so neither of these are like my perfect match but i'll get my perfect match one day i love this because it has a very extensive shade range it has like a lot of fair shades a lot of medium shades a lot of dark shades it just has literally every shade and that's not easy to come by in the drugstore and you have to really appreciate when a brand does that because you got to give credit where credit is due this has a nice huge shade range i'm pretty sure it has like 30 or something i can check i think i'm gonna have to count every single shade because it's not telling me 13 times 3 13 26 39 40 there are 40 shades okay i just counted them all there so after counting them all, I, it literally says right here, 40 super saturated shades. 
So I didn't really have to do all that math, but I did anyway. I'm keeping my brain sharp. So it has 40 shades, which is fucking awesome considering it is a drugstore brand and there are high-end brands that can't even compete with that. I love it because it's a great foundation and it's a cult classic for a reason. So the next foundation I have here is a little bit newer. It's the Maybelline 24 hour super stay coverage, full coverage foundation. I love this. It's the foundation on my face right now. It has a great amount of coverage. Like literally one pump covers my entire face. And then I do a little bit like a little, an eighth of a pump just to like cover a little bit more problem areas. And this foundation is amazing. It lasts all day. It stays, it stays matte for a really long time, which is something I look for for my nose. It stays matte on my nose for a long time after setting and baking and doing all that extra shit. And it's amazing. And this color is a dead on match. This is 356 warm coconut. And it is literally amazing. Like amazing. Okay, and the last or actually number one, my number one foundation doo, 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 is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This foundation is literally amazing for oily skin like myself. It is a demi matte finish. It says demi matte, but that shit is matte, girl. This is probably the foundation that I use when I really need a matte look and I need it to stay matte for a long time. Like this keeps my nose matte the longest out of almost every single foundation I own. Um, it claims to have a demi matte finish, wear for 24 hours, medium coverage, and is air light. I agree with most of those claims. I never wear this for 24 hours. I don't think you should wear your foundation for 24 hours. It has a matte, not demi matte, it's not demi matte, it's matte. I would say this is demi matte and this is for sure 100% matte. And yeah, it does have a medium coverage. You can build it, maybe not to full coverage, but like to medium to full. And then it is very air light. I love this for the summer when I do wear foundation in the summer, which is rarely because summers are really hot here. So I try to keep my face as clear as possible. And when I do wear foundations in the summer, it's probably this one. Well, if it's a drugstore foundation, it's probably gonna be this one. This is like my summer foundation because it just really keeps you matte and it looks good and it's air light and it's just lasts long. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you took some of these into consideration. And if you're in the market for a new drugstore foundation, I hope you consider one of these because they're pretty good and you'll probably love it as much as I do. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, um, subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notifications if you wanna get notified every single time I upload. And yeah, comment if you have any drugstore foundation recommendations that you want me to try that I probably haven't tried yet. And yeah, peace out, Girl Scout.